One for three a home run and a walk last night first pitch from Sandy misses upstairs. Take you back to last night. This wasn't the biggest hit of the ball game, but it certainly felt like it kind of distanced the Cardinals from the Marlins Got an off speed pitch got a slider inside and kept it fair down that right three. You know a three run lead. He made it four. Wasn't a whole lot of offense in last night's ball game. You even think back to the the big hit that Molina had in the first. You know it was a barrage of hits. There's a strike on the corner. At 96 led to three first inning runs for St. Louis. They, as Todd said, basically rode that all the way to a win. Race series. Sandy misses low. That one at 99. Field for this one. Payoff pitch is grounded right side. Sandy going to cover the bag and in and out of his glove on the flip from Coop. Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado on deck. Marlins have three on the left side of the infield as Goldschmidt offers at the first one. Lifts it down the right field line. Duvall coming over. He will have enough room to make the play. Still learning the surroundings. Down the lines as he'll uh, obviously be an Edmund on it first after what's ruled as an E1. Nolan spins away from that one. Hot through four games. He's got three multi hit efforts already, including last night's game. He's done that. Blocked by Alfaro will keep Edmund at first. Strike inside corner. So then after the trade, he kept strikes. Marlon swing three to the left side against Arenado. Edmund goes, swing and a miss, throw down to second, he is not in time. A strikeout for Sandy, that's out number two, but Edmund into scoring position. Paul DeYoung swings over the top of that slider, and it's nothing in one. 14 pitches into the ballgame. Back behind the Cardinals dugout and that went out of play. Boy, first pitch slider to DeYoung is a classic example. He wouldn't have done that opening day. See, we've seen already the entire arsenal, meaning he's he's ready to go, he's ready to use his pitches, but he also knows what the St. Louis Cardinals represent. It's his second career start against the team that signed him. One and two to DeYoung. One and two. Out to left center field coming over Marte and Sandy works around the error. Marlins come to bat. With that, that makes more sense. But Sandy on his game early. Now first pitch right there on the inside corner. A little tailing action on the sinker to Matt Carpenter. Yadier Molina and Tyler O'Neill here in the second. Carpenter at second base. Carpenter at second base. Tonight came off the bench yesterday. Had played some first, some second, some third, and recent years, but now you got Goldie and Arenado. Well, I think one could argue that if Carpenter was doing what he biggest trade for sure. I think it in a lot of ways maybe had a little bit to do with Carpenter. Slaps one out to left for Dickerson. Let's check in with Kelly Sacco. The energy from last year, and I think we can argue it's even more energetic with uh, with a guy like Jazz here full time. Oh, for sure. And nobody in the ballpark to see it. This year, different story. Yadier Molina fouls it off. We are all sitting night tonight. We will be in the clear. You don't talk to a starting pitcher the day of his start. Uh, Although Pablo would probably talk to him about minutes. pitching. I plan on talking to him about his hitting. All right. <laughs> About that 99 miles an hour beats Molina upstairs vertically in the strike zone. A strike to Tyler O'Neill. 0 and 1. The lowest opponent batting average. How about the Marlins at 136? Of course. 
Take that. You break our camera, you sit down. Behind me, the cam were trying to execute good pitches, even if it was an off pit, an off speed pitch, a fastball, like well located. So I think that was the main thing. You know, we were not giving in. For what I what I had working that day, and we just battled. Dylan Carlson taps that one foul. Carlson Gant. A lot of attention. You know, Sandy, even though we're different pitchers, he's got some stuff that I can kind of like use for inspiration. He's got a sinker and I throw like a two seam and he's got a good change up and pitch. I also try to put myself in his shoes and, you know, uh, pay attention to his sequencing, how he how he's able to start. You guys have, it's very special, but you're all young. Do you, you know, tr treat each other and, and kind of communicate that way like uh, maybe brothers would by like a, a, an <laughs> eyelash? I mean, come on. I mean, he's only got a handful of starts more than the rest of you guys. Yeah, yeah. So we that's how we see it. You know, we see it like it's a enjoy talking to one another, supporting one another. Like I'm, I'm the biggest fan of the guys when they're pitching, when they're on their mound. So and I know they're mentioned to little details, making sure we're doing things the right way. So everything ev so everything works out, everything feels well. So. Uh, there's a lot of talking, a lot of uh, as early as it started with opening day, you know, we run through like the advanced meetings before a series and, you know, he, he walked in with uh, a bunch of notes that he took himself and, you know, he had, and, you know, he had, he had his general notes, but then he, ha he has more specific notes to uh, certain pitchers. So, you know, because all pitchers are different. So the fact that he had notes for like how he can manage a lineup with a uh, of confidence that he knows what we're facing, he knows what we're dealing with. And, you know, the fact that he, he's got a good feel to see what. I got to know how seriously you've been taking your hitting. I know how important it is to you. Uh, very serious, very serious. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to shorten it up for you. Tomorrow. He answers that with a game face. <laughs> That's right. Remains. A 1-0 Marlins lead as we go to the fourth. Paul Goldschmidt deleted it off, and he takes a pitch just off the inside part of the plate for Arenado and DeYoung here in the fourth. Sandy has six strike away of the K. That is uh, a tie for the longest streak he's had in his career. Little dribbler to first, and Sandy couldn't take the flip and uh, collect it, so it ended up going down as an How about six strikeouts in a row for... Ten in a row set down by Sandy. That one off of him. He'll find it. Arenado's going to reach, and now you just hope that Sandy's okay. The young goes after the first. This one sky high. Back now to play. Poe Park. Just missed. Jack Flaherty gets the start for the Cardinals. He was their opening day. Silly. Thursday, Friday off because it's the Mets opener on Thursday. Saturday and Sunday at one. Another strikeout for Sandy Alcott. Jerry Lane was the home plate umpire opening day. Fair to say the the combat right just because of the umpire rotation to kind of limit travel a little bit. You know, the Marlins in this case are home for a couple of series. The umpire and crew would stay here, limit the best at bat against Sandy tonight. He hit a ball hard to left. Rounds one to the right side. That's Anderson with the shift. He'll make the play. We go to the last of the for someone to follow. Here's a bunch of people to follow. That's going to be a base hit into center field off the bat of Yadier Molina. Second hit tonight for the Redbirds. Kelly, go ahead. I mean, you're, you're running through all. Tweet that we will get to a little bit later on. Okay. I will, uh, I'll stay here. And I will, Don't go anywhere. And I will await. It was earlier, <laughs> Todd, earlier on the broadcast. Uh, about back. It, it was, I think it's called a lens, but yeah, maybe. Glass lens. Glass lens, sure. I don't know. One of the best in the biz, Mike Fernandes is, that was bad. Well, for the second time, set him up well for what's going on. Ryan Helsley is up and thrown. Dylan Carlson fouls it, backing out of. That one gets away from Alfaro and Molina 
is up to second base. Oh, we got caught up in the net again. Well, that's the slider. Did come up a little bit short. Alfaro. Takes a strike. Two and two. A little bit low. To the left side. Anderson collides with Molina. Miggy's got it. And it's going to be. Cut on and missed at 97 from Alcantara. This goes, but you know you know what you're watching in Sandy, and you go up there, and now it's uh, you know just a question of executing. You're seeing exactly how he's been going at these Cardinal hitters all night long, and then you tell yourself, all right, I'm gonna go out there and get myself a good fastball. I know it's gonna be 97. I'm gonna do something with it. Real estate off the outside edge on the second one, so it's 0-2. Quick work of Justin Williams. Ten strikeouts to match a 28 percent. What do we say? He's at 70% with it tonight? Yes, sir. Trust his stuff and attack, but that uh, that's Sandy from a couple of years ago. This is ace Sandy stuff. Right. Well, I mean, there's no problem. Use John Gann as an example, right? We've kind of been kidding about how long some of these innings have been with runners on. But the point is, is that when you've got runners on, and there's a lot going on in the mind, communication with the catcher, time seems to kind of just happen back up on the mound make another pitch catch the ball get back up on the mound make another pitch to the right side past Cooper Chisholm gets to it and throws it a bit wide went under the dive of Cooper jazz ranging in now Goldschmidt a strikeout Collided. That's a fielder's choice. I mistakenly called that a base hit. Fouled back. That got a piece of home plate umpire Jerry Lane. Edmund off of first. And here it comes from Sandy. Ground ball right up the middle and off of Sandy. Jazz bare hands, but he'll have no play. Another comebacker that got a piece of Alcantara. Last time it. Wiggle around this jam in the sixth inning. That one in the dirt and blocked by Alfaro. Power sinker that he's got. And here's Sandy in the spring on that pitch. Boy, could he use one here. 2 1 pitch to Arenado. Strike. He raised when he went six scoreless. Payoff pitch to Arenado. Single runs in the first and fifth. And now the bases are loaded for DeYoung. First walk tonight for Sandy. Out the fourth. That one squirts away from Alfaro, and Edmund will come home. That one ran almost all the way up the first. And a 2-1 ball game. Ground ball. Anderson with it. Goldie waited. He'll come home, and he'll score. They got the out at first. Cooper spun and fired home. Goldschmidt kind of dancing, hesitating. Arenado again at third. And the Marlins bring the infield in against Matt Carpenter, who takes ball one. And on the right side of the infield, Cooper at first. You feel there is a big hole for Carpenter. Well, it's interesting. Carpenter, the only Cardinal hitter not to strike out. And 
And Yachty lips one out to center field. Marte is under it. It will be deep enough to score the run. Arenado scores on the sack fly. And the Cardinals with strikeouts for the Cardinals left fielder. And a pitch outside. Or as this inning kind of is showing us some issues. A high fly out to right center field. Duvall waits for it to come down. He'll make the catch. Cardinals get three.